Okay, so I'm working on a True Turf roller. This is a uh, RS48-11 series, and I'm changing the sprocket. And I just decided to do a video, actually right in the middle of it. So uh, forgive me if I have some of this off, but I'll explain to you what I did, what I'm going to do, and how you can do it. Now, I already got this center bolt loose, but basically the problem I was having was, or the operator, when they were going from one direction to the other, the chain was skipping, and these were bouncing all over the place. All right, so this, uh, this sprocket here had worn down and the sprockets that were on here were worn down also. I ordered a new kit you'll see in another video below where it came with these plastic guides rather than the sprockets. This is the newer style. Now we tried this and it was still skipping. We found out this sprocket was stripped. So to get this sprocket off, <clears throat> You're going to need a 7 16 to take your center out, which I already did. All right. And then you can see these two Allen key uh, lock bolts there. There's, they go in the back here. See there? One goes there. And then there's going to be another one right there. And I already took them out. So you're going to want an Allen key to get them out. All right. Then you're going to need to spread this. It's going to be in your way. So... I already took this pin off, but you can do it with your hand. All right, this side was actually over on this arm. I just unclipped it, took that spring off, so now I can move these out of the way. All right, now your chain, mine was stripped enough where I was actually able to just pull it off and let it drop down there. Okay, now we have this. You're going to need, where'd it go? Right here. You're gonna need a puller uh, to get that off of there. You can get these at Napa, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, wherever. You wanna get yourself a little puller. This is hard to do with one hand. You wanna put that puller on there and uh, you're gonna crank this until that pulls that sprocket right off of there. It's almost off, but I wanted to show you, you can see Right down in there, there's a keyway. So while you're pulling this off, make sure that that keyway don't drop and you don't lose it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. All right, I'm gonna continue cranking this. If it'll let me do it with one hand, and no, it's not gonna let me. And it's off. And there's the keyway right there that did fall down. You can see on the back of the sprocket where that would slide in right there, the keyway hole. All right, and that's how you take the sprocket off. This is our new sprocket here. And uh, part number from True Turf is R5136. All right, now what you wanna do is turn this shaft so that your keyway is at the top there. And you wanna take that keyway there, that groove, and you want to line them up to get that back on. So when you put the sprocket back on, which I did, put the chain around the sprocket first and then proceed to bang it on. Because if you put that sprocket on first, you're not going to be able to get this chain back around it. All right, so hold the sprocket out here, put the chain around it, and then line up your keyway hole and then tap it on. And then you can go ahead and tighten everything up and put your clip back on here. And that's it. Pretty simple process. That's how you put the sprocket on a uh, True Turf Roller RS48-11. Hit subscribe below, guys. Give me a like, and I'll see you next time.